Hi everybody, Josh here at North Avenue Fit Body Bootcamp. I'm here with Caitlin. Today we're going to take some time and show you some foam rolling techniques. Foam rolling is an excellent way to massage your muscles, kind of work out any of that tightness before you stretch out. Hopefully it will help you prevent um, any of those injuries that some people experience while stretching. Think of your muscles as being uh, like taffy. And when you pull a cold taffy as if you were stretching it, it has a tendency to snap. Now if you kind of knead that taffy a little bit, it warms up and it becomes easy to pull at and actually stretch. So it's always nice to do a little bit of foam rolling before you stretch out to really relax those muscles. So you ready to get started, Caitlin? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna start at the bottom and work our way up. If you want, you can do your feet also for today's video. We're just gonna focus on the extremities, working up from the calves to the pecs. So you're gonna start with the calves. What you really wanna do here is try to create as much pressure as you can comfortably stand. So she's gonna roll on that calf. She's trying to put as much pressure on that calf as she can here. If you wanna make it a little harder or a little heavier, you can lift your butt up off the floor, which you don't necessarily need to. She's gonna roll down, all the way, almost all the way down to the ankle, and then back into the top of the calf, really getting, working those angles of all that meat muscle. Now, if you feel a tight spot, a spot that feels like a hot spot, as soon as you go, oh, okay, that's really sensitive, you want to kind of hold that spot. You really want to think about rolling for about 30 to 60 seconds per muscle group. Now, today we're just going to show you one side, but typically you're going to want to do one side, one leg, and then the other. Now, we're going to move on to the hamstring, so the back of the thigh here. You adjust that roller, and then you can still cross that leg over if you need to to create some more pressure lifting your butt up. And here you want to roll from the back of the knee to just below your glutes or your butt muscles, if you will. Creating as much pressure again to feel a tight spot. You're going to want to hold it there. Good. And then we're going to move on to the piriformis or the glutes. So from here, what you want to do is you're going to lean to one side. So now Caitlin's going to roll her right side. So she's going to switch that leg up here, cross that leg over, and really lean to one cheek here. So she's rolling her right side. She crosses her right leg over, and she's kind of leaning to that side here. Again, you want to think from the bottom of those glutes or the top of the thigh up to the low back. Just rolling back and forth. Again, if you find a tight spot or a hot spot, just go ahead and hold it there. Anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds should really help release that muscle. From there, she's gonna to go to her hip flexors. Now, this is a spot that's pretty sensitive for most people as we tend to sit most of our day. So here she's gonna roll over to her side. Now, imagine you have a light coming out of your belt buckle. I want you to turn that light into the roller here. So we're thinking of this chunk of muscle right here and you just want to lean into it and if you find a tight spot again, hold it there for a second, really try to create as much pressure as you can, get it as comfortably uncomfortable as possible. And then as you start to feel more comfortable with that, you can roll all the way down your quad toward the knee. So here you can start to roll up a little further, creating as much pressure as you can on that muscle Using that foam roll, try to use your own body weight to create that pressure. And then again, you would switch sides and do the other side. Now we're gonna move over to the back. So with the back, you wanna start up high, really at the shoulder. So she's gonna lay on the floor. She's gonna set her butt on the floor. Shoulders are against the foam roller. She's gonna cross those arms over. This is gonna expose some of those deep back muscles. And then she's gonna keep her butt on the floor and just arch her back and then come back up. Roll back a little bit further, and then kind of working down vertebrae by vertebrae, just moving down a couple inches at a time. Reset your butt. Try to keep your butt on the floor as you do this. Notice how she's arching her back. She's going to open up her thoracic spine, her chest as she's doing these. Sometimes you might hear a couple cracks of that back if you're really stretching here and opening up. She just keeps scooting down. Let's get one more after this, Caitlin. You want to make sure to wall up those abs nice and tight to protect your lower back as you're arching. Push that air out. And then she comes back up here. And now she's going to hit the lower back. So on the lower back, she's going to kind of lean. Let's scoot a little bit further forward so we can make sure you're in the, in the shot here. So here on the lower back, go ahead and sit up for me, set up for a second so we can show them. You're going to work these chunks of muscle next to the spine. You don't want to roll directly on your lower back. You want to actually roll on those muscles next to the back, which are called the erector spinae muscles. So you're going to kind of lean to one side. Let's lean to my side so that way they can see what you're rolling here. 
And she's going to kind of lean. She's not going to be completely on her side. She's really trying to work that chunk of muscle on the other side here. And she can even lean back a little further. So turn your chest toward the ceiling just a little bit more. Turn that way. There we go. And roll through there. And you can't see her face right now, but she's feeling this. This is, it's not pain as much as just a nice firm massage, massage that she's doing here. And now, after you've done both sides, she's going to go over and work her pecs now. So for the pec, you're going to lay on your stomach. Now you want to get that roller sort of perpendicular to your chest. And you really want to roll that area of muscle around the shoulder, high up on the chest. And again, she can create as much pressure as she'd like. You notice that she's using her other arm to lift her weight up so that she can push it onto that foam roller. And then again, she finds a hot spot. She's going to hold it there for a second. A lot of people are very tight through their chest, so this might be one that's very sensitive for you. Good. And then you would do the other side. So, before you ever work out, this is a nice technique to use to kind of warm the body up, uh, get those muscles warmed up and loosened up before you stretch out and warm up to get ready for your workout. So, give these a try. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them with this video. Let us know how it went for you. Thanks a lot.